Have you ever faced trouble while working on several projects and couldn't keep tabs on them or struggled through making a plan for your projects? Let's see if we can record all of them in a worksheet and even add some visual representation. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulnim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. An efficient project management helps you to see the path forward. Visualize your plans in a single frame, comparative analysis and modify task details. Our discussion today is about creating a project schedule in Excel. Here we will discuss a dataset with 10 tasks. We will add their starting time, ending time, duration and status in chronological order. We will use cell formatting for visual representation as well. We are using Excel 365 for this. You can use other available versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Here we have added a title Project Schedule Merging Cell B2 to AF2. In cell B4, let's add a column header for our activities. In C4, let's type Starting Time, Duration, Ending Time, and finally, status. Here, due to lower column width, cell contents are congested. We will format them later, then you can see them properly. In the activity column, we have labeled our activity IDs such as task 01, task 02, etc. etc. till task 10. Let's type task underscore 01, task underscore 02. We can manually type till task 10. Or we can just use fill handle to drag till task 10. We have a draft dataset for these tasks where their starting time and duration are tracked. Let's copy it and paste it here. Now we can see our starting time and duration. Let's calculate our ending time equals C5 plus D5 minus 1. Since our starting time will also be added in duration, enter. Let's use fill handle to drag till 14th column. Now, for status, the tasks will either be completed or in progress. So let's type both this in column AG, complete in progress. Now, let's select F5 to F14 and go to data tab, select data validation from data tools group we can use data validation tool for whole number any value time etc etc since our values are in list from allow we're choosing list the source is ag5 to ag6 okay now we can just select each of them according to our wish let's add here we will manually choose the status from this drop down here we won't be needing the column ag so we can just hide it right click on it and hide here on these columns we will add the date values the date values will be from the starting time of first task till the ending time of last task which means 29th may and 23rd june so 29 May. Let's drag this till 23rd June. There you go. Now we can see the dates are not visible. So we can just change their orientation. Go to Home tab. From the alignment, choose Rotate Text Up. Let's click Row Height and select 50. Now the dates are visible, right? Now let's add some formatting here. Let's go to Home tab and from the font group select All Borders. And for the fourth row, let's go to Home tab and from the font group choose Bold. Also from the Alignment group choose Middle and Center Align and Wrap Text. Notice that we can now observe the entire cell content after using the Wrap Text and a fill color of this and for these column headers let's go along with a larger font 
There you go. Let's decrease the column width of G. Now, in cell range G5 to AF14, we will add the status from column F. If it matches the duration time span. In cell G5, let's use a formula that will add the status from F5 if the date from G4 is greater than the starting time or equal than this and less than or equal to the ending date. We will use if then and function. If tab and tab. G4 use function 4 or F4 key twice to make it absolute like this so that the row doesn't change even if we use fill handle greater than or equals C5. Use F4 key thrice to make it absolute in this way so that the column doesn't change even if we use fill handle comma G4 use function 4 key twice to make it absolute like this less than or equal ending time E5. Use F4 key thrice to make it absolute comma value if true will be F5. Use F4 key thrice to make it absolute so that the column doesn't change comma if false will be blank cell so let's use double inverted comma closing parenthesis enter now we can see that the status is showing completed let's drag it till AF5 now we can see the date till the task was running which is 3rd of June is showing completed and in spite of our formula being in these cells, it's not showing anything since we wanted blank cells in case the value is not true. Let's select these cells and drag them till 14 Pro. And you can see that the status are added here according to their duration. Since the cells here are overlapping each other, the status is not visible completely, right? We will change them later with something better. Now, let's add some visual representation. For this, we will go along with the conditional formatting command. Let's select G5 to A14. Go to Styles group of Home tab. Choose Conditional Formatting. Select Highlight Cell Rules and go to Text that contains. Here, let's type Complete. And for the format, let's choose custom format. This will open format window to us. You can choose any colors from this palette. We will choose this color. Okay. Again, for in progress, let's choose another field, which is maybe this one. Okay. Now you can see all the in progress cells have been highlighted with this fill color. And completed cells have been highlighted with this fill color. Now let's say you don't want to see the text here, only the colors. So let's select G5 to AF14 again and click Ctrl1 to format. Here go to custom and in this box type three semicolons in this way. Okay. Now you can see that all the cells do not have the text any longer, but they have the fill colors. Let's select them and choose no border, then outside border. It looks more elegant, right? Using these easy steps, we can create a project schedule. You can modify it according to your need. Now what is a Gantt chart? A Gantt chart is a visual tool used in project management to show how tasks and activities are scheduled within a project. It offers a graphic depiction of the project timeline that displays the beginning and ending dates of each task as well as how far along the project is overall. For this method, you need an internet connection. Now go to file tab, select new and here search for Gantt chart. Here you can see five templates. You can choose any of them. Let's go along with the first one. Create. 
Here you can see that we got a new workbook where the template is already added. You can see that each cells have comments with them. The comments actually help you to modify the cells. You can see that each of these activities go along with plan start, duration, actual start and the periods are added according to their period highlights. You can practice this problem with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.